What's up, everybody? Welcome back to this week's video. Hold on one second. Uh, for the podcast, coming to you from my uh, dorm room. So, I thought I didn't. I'm not doing a live episode this week, uh, just because there's not enough top of the topic for me to want to sit down and stream. So I'm doing video this week, um, and I'm doing this on Zoom so I could screen share because this is. Not just to be Super Bowl preview, but it was also going to be a grading every QB's uh, season, plus other news. So uh, before we get to the tier list, I want to talk about Super Bowl. So Super Bowl is this coming Sunday between the Eagles and the Chiefs. So, so I was asked by someone in the community to specifically talk about certain things when it comes to Super Bowl. And I'm going to talk about that all of Along with, I'm also going to give my prediction. Uh, hold on one second. Here we go. Uh, so, factors to look for in this game, um, I would say is... Well, here's one thing I'm going to put with this game. is This is going to be a shootout, most likely. Two of the best offenses in the NFL. Uh, both defenses are very good. But I think this has uh, very much of a possibility to be a shootout. Uh, the big factor is really going to be uh, Chiefs being able to guard everyone and anyone because anyone and everyone's a weapon on that Eagles offense. Uh, and for the Eagles uh, uh, defense, we'll be shutting down uh, Travis Kelsey because that's, aside from Mahomes himself, where that offense revolves around. Uh I think that's going to be big keys in the game, big factors. Um, strengths, I strengths really are, uh, for Chiefs, I'd say is more offense. Eagles are just well-rounded, I would say. Um, that is factors and strengths and weaknesses. My prediction is simply that because I had the Eagles originally in my playoff predictions, Going straight to the Super Bowl, I didn't have them winning originally. I had them losing to the Bills, who got embarrassed uh, in divisional round. Uh, but because I had them originally in the Super Bowl, I'm going to stick to them. And my prediction for Super Bowl Sunday is that the Eagles are going to beat the Chiefs. I think it's going to be a great game. I think it will be a shootout. But I think at the end of the day, the Eagles will be b the better team and win. Uh, outside news, there was some big news that came out today in WBC world that from directly from Jacob Steinmetz, who was drafted by the Arizona Diamondbacks last year, directly announced via social media that he is going to be a part of Team Israel's WBC team this coming March, which is, I think, a great addition. Uh, he hasn't had a great minor league start, but still, I think he's a very nice pitcher addition for them. A uh, pitcher that was drafted last year by Arizona uh, was in rookie ball last year. I think it's a great addition. We'll see how it works out. So let's get straight to this tier list. So just to go over before I get officially to the uh, purring quarterbacks where I have a bunch of QBs that like I did not see. Like I looked online prior to of like QBs that played this year that'd be eligible for this. And there are just some that like, I did not see enough to give an official grade. That's an NA tier between Ripien, um, Sam, uh, Sam Howell, uh, John Wolford, Trace McSorley, uh, Trevor Simeon, Jared Stidham, Trey Lance, Desmond Ritter, uh, Gardner Minshew, James Winston, and so on and so forth. So that's, those are all in the NA tier. But otherwise, there's S, A, B, C, D, and F. So let's get straight to it. Let's get started with S because there's only one person who I think is S tier. And this, the S tier this year for me is Patrick Mahomes. Just about, up and above everyone. Especially with, he had a lot less talent this year. Really, that offense is mostly just Travis Kelsey. And he still does, did what he always does. And it's just still, it's, it will always be impressive. He's an S tier. He's the only person in S tier. In A tier, I have six quarterbacks in A tier. The first one in A tier is Jalen Hurts with the Eagles. They had a great year, very much played well. Uh, obviously, he did get hurt and miss a few games, but when he played, he was very good and dominant. 
and very much worthy of A tier. Another A tier quarterback is Joe Burrow. Another phenomenal year. And honestly, if not for struggling, by the way, this is in no particular order. This is just who's in what tier. Um, but I did grade him down from S just because he did struggle early on. But overall, this was another phenomenal year from Joe Burrow. The next QB in A tier is going to be Daniel Jones, who had a great season, comeback season this year uh, after having terrible years the last few years uh, in a contract year, no matter. Uh, stepping up big time for the Giants and leading them to the playoffs and a playoff win, uh, which was huge and for the Giants uh, and nice to see. Next QB is Geno Smith, who probably will end up being comeback player of the year. Uh, has had a rough career previously, uh, up and down between different teams. And this year, after Russell Wilson got traded, everyone thought the the, bait, the Seahawks were going to suck. And Geno Smith stepped up and delivered very well them into the playoffs. They even had a league going in the half. They lost the game, but he still deserves credit for that year. The next QB is in the eight years, Lamar Jackson. Now, yes, he did get hurt and had some struggles. But when he was on the field, he was still pretty good. Uh, and even still with the thing of people claiming that he's just a running back, I think he still had a pretty good year. And for the year that he did have, I think is a tier. The next quarterback that's going to go there and the last quarterback of a tier is Trevor Lawrence. What a year he had. Uh, they did upgrade a lot uh, in the off season, uh, but e- ETN played well for them. The re- he had great receivers all worked out. Uh, there was some struggles here and there, but a great year for, for put the Jaguars in the playoffs. They won a playoff game that is still unbelievable that they won, worthy of A tier. That is all the A tier quarterbacks. It's so not a B tier. And by the way, one thing I do want to note: yes, I did intentionally put two different Baker Mayfields because each one is getting a different grade, not by much of a difference, but. Each one, each time for Baker is getting a different grade. So B tier is I'm gonna is got a few quarterbacks here, and I'm gonna start off with Jacoby Brissett. He had a decent stint and was honestly pretty good for what he needed to be. Um, he definitely had some struggles here and there, uh, rough endings with the Jets and the Falcons game, but overall wasn't terrible, but also wasn't too bad. Uh, so he's gonna be B tier. Next one up is Josh Allen, and he's also someone that really I could have put higher, but he just threw a lot of interceptions this year, which was real, which does not help your case. And he was terrible in the in both playoff games, really more so the game against uh, Cincinnati in the divisional round. That is why he's in B tier, B tier instead of being higher. Derek Carr is also in B tier. He had a pretty, he had his usual pretty good year. Uh, but also, and really the Raiders struggles were more their defense than their offense. Uh, so Derek Carr is in B tier along with Derek Carr. Also in B tier is Jared Goff. He had a pretty good year for the lions, had some shocking wins actually came close to the playoffs. Uh, they fell short, but in the end of it, pretty good year for Jared Goff. Uh, we'll see how, how he, what happens in the future for him. Next up, Kyler Murray, uh, did ha- get injured and missed a chunk of the season after like week 14 or so. But for the games he played, he was pretty good, but nothing crazy. So that's he's in B tier. Tua Tagovailoa definitely bounced back this year. Uh, did have some struggles, uh, but when he was playing, did get hurt also. But when he played, he was pr- very good, improved on the, la- the season before. And that is why he's up to B tier after this past season. Next up, Justin Herbert is in B tier. He had a pretty good year. Uh, did have some struggles with play call with they obviously coaching uh, some wacky play calling with fourth downs and going for it, going for two and stuff. But overall, he had a pretty good year and he is in B tier. Next up, Kirk Cousins, who took the Vikings on a pretty good year. Uh, obviously they did not have much of a playoff run, but for the season he had itself was pretty good. And I have him in B tier next up, Sam Darnold, who took over after Baker got traded and actually did pretty good. And even himself almost got the Panthers to the playoffs, but in the end they fell short and, but I have him in B tier Taylor Heineke, who had been starting and took it over for a bit, 
and then replaced at the end of the season for a bit. Uh, well, basically completely. Uh, but he had a great year when he was playing for Taylor and or a pretty good year. And that's why he's in B tier. The third to last QB is going to be Brock Purdy. The thing is, it's tough to grade him because like he had a lot of, he has a lot of great talent around him. And obviously who knows how much he's when he, if he'll even be a starter next year, being he's got the injury to deal with, but we'll see what happens. But honestly, with how he did, I have him in B. The second to last quarterback in B tier is going to be Dak Prescott. Uh, and he had a decent year, but also ran into trouble with A injuries and B turnovers, especially in the playoffs. Um, however, still pretty good year, so it will be B tier. And the last quarterback of B tier, which honestly I thought about putting lower, but I couldn't do it to him, is Tom Brady. And I felt lower because he really did not have a good year. And honestly, the fact that the Buccaneers even made the playoffs in the first place was basically a fluke. And they even were just terrible in the one playoff game they did play. Uh, so that's Brady in B tier. And that is it for B tier. So now we're up to C tier. I'm going to start with Andy Dalton, who really just had meh season uh, for the Saints. Led to a couple wins and a couple losses here and there. But nothing crazy, so he is in C tier. Next C tier quarterback is Justin Fields. When he was playing and healthy, he had very good moments and rough moments. Uh, did get a little bit better passing wise this year, but it was just overall ups and downs, especially with Bears having some big losing streaks. Next up, Ryan Tannehill was just the Ryan Tannehill was just Ryan Tannehill, the usual Tannehill, but uh, did get hurt at a certain point this year. Uh, next up, Tay Bridgewater, who took over for Tua for a little bit, kind of just had a math performance. Uh, after that, Skylar Thompson, basically around the same thing. Uh, next in C tier is going to be Tyler Huntley, who just really didn't have crazy performances p- taking over for Lamar, but wasn't necessarily trash. And then the last one's Matt. And then the last one in C tier is Matthew Stafford, who honestly I thought performed worse then, but what it was really was that like, the Rams were just injury riddled this year and it really affected everyone and anyone uh, very much. So, so that is all for C tier now is D tier with six quarterbacks starting off with the second version of Baker. We got this year with the Rams. He was a lot better with the Rams. He, his first game was literally on short notice playing Thursday night after playing, a, a, playing on Thursday night, having a few days to get in, He's still pretty pretty good overall with the Rams, but it wasn't anything crazy, but it wasn't bad. Uh, So he is D-tier. Cooper Rush. uh, uh, No, uh, sorry. I have to typo. So five quarterbacks. So now here's one that I feel I'm probably going to get heat for, but I don't feel deserves F, and that's Deshaun Watson. Yes, I know he was not the greatest, but you also have to factor in he was he is a lot of rust having not played a game since 2020. But I think he still did pretty good overall, and that's why I put him in. He still had some pretty decent moments, but factoring rust, he's in D tier for me. Uh, Marcus Mariota didn't play a lot, but D and for what he did play in D tier, and then Aaron Rodgers, and really I could have even put him also lower. I could have even put him in F, but. I he still I end of the day just how I feel ends up being in uh D tier uh in the end for me. So that's all D tier. So now the last tier F tier, which is basically just gonna be everyone. Baker Mayfield for the Panthers sucked. Uh Mac Jones sucked. Uh Bailey Zappi sucked. Only had one good game against the Packers. That was it. Mike White had one good game. That was it. Sucked. Uh, Joe Flacco, one good game against the Browns. Otherwise sucked. Carson Wentz overall sucked. And the fact that he was even playing against the Browns when their season was online is still crazy to this day. Oh, I forgot. Jimmy G is a B tier. He had a pretty good year uh, in and out, but did get hurt as well. And I'm also forgetting for some reason i don't know why i skipped over but i also 
just trying to find where I put them here. Uh, I guess I didn't write them down. But Kenny Pickett, honestly, I have as a B, as a B tier. He was honestly pretty good, had his up and down moments, was pretty good overall. Uh, but back to F tier, Matt Ryan's F tier, just rough year for the Colts and him. Trubisky F did not play well in the games he played. Russell Wilson, more F tier. Broncos country, let's arrive in pain. That was that his season, basically. And Zach Wilson was just bad <laughs> this year. So he is an F tier as well. So that is the rankings. This is the this is my version of the quarterback rankings from this year. Uh 2022-2023 season. That is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, let me know in the comments what your who you would put where in the rankings. And maybe if you have someone in A, but you feel like could go higher, put let me know. Or if you think someone goes lower, let me know. Or if you feel like someone I gave a grade but deserve doesn't deserve to get a grade and should instead be in an A, let me know. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the tier list, uh, where you might have gone differently. Thoughts on the Super Bowl, your own prediction, your own thoughts of everything. Enjoy the Super Bowl. If you are new on YouTube, leave a like, subscribe, hit notification bell so you're notified when I go live and or post a video. If you are new on audio, follow the podcast, leave a review, and hit notification bell so you're notified when I post on there. Thank you so much for watching and listening, and I will see you next week for episode 65, which will actually be an episode with Super Bowl recap, and WBC rosters come out on Thursday which I might be going over a little bit, but we're going to start getting into um, WBC very soon. Bye.